But where I failed, to be honest, as marketing director in this, and I wish I could do this better now, but I've left, maybe they'll hire me, um, is what's in it for me? The key is being very, very clear in your message. That's how you get to people. That's how you get to people quickly. And if you can't answer these four basic questions in 30 seconds or less, like, you know, if someone comes to your website and they can't kind of figure this out in 30 seconds or less, it's not like you're dead. No, there are still lots of businesses that still operate this way, but you're really, really losing out. You are. What are those questions? The first thing I have to get within the first three seconds is what the hell do you offer? Right? If, if that's not clear, I'm like, ow, right? Because you're making me work too much, right? The second is back to that transformational thing. How is this going to make me better? How is this going to make my life better? Right? If I don't get that quickly, again, out. Third, why should I believe you? Right? Because chances are you're not the only person setting that. Oh, you may be, and I'm interested, and okay, I can see that vision of me being better with this, but why should I believe you? Right? And the third is, uh, sorry, and the fourth, which is often forgotten, what do I need to do to buy this? And sometimes we kind of take it for granted that people would know what they need to do to buy it, like go to the shop now, or go find it here, or click buy now, and those kind of things. But products can sometimes be a little bit more complicated, and if you don't guide them through, as you'll see, you're missing out. So these four questions need to be answered. Now, let me take you into a completely non-digital world, right, just for a second. I used to be the marketing director at IMU, right? And IMU is the International Medical University. And when I got in there uh, and I sat down with, you know, all the deans of the various faculties, one of the questions we asked, I asked them was, we were trying to clarify our marketing, right? And just a simple question I asked them, I sat down with them and I said, why should a potential pr prospective student join your, your faculty, your course? It's amazing how most of them couldn't answer it. They could answer it, but it would take them like 20 minutes to give the answer, right? Blah, 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 long, blah, blah, long story, and by that time I was like, okay, fine. How the hell are we gonna put this down on a piece of paper, right? So it came down to distilling that message into back then, and I'm not saying this is revolutionary, but back then it was a big change, into just five key messages, right? So if you go back to, and this is just a brochure, this is in my website, of course it got translated, but if you go back to what do you offer, how will it make it me better, why should I believe you, and what do I, what do I need to do to buy it, we tackle one, three, and four here, right? So we did a pretty good job at showing what it is we have, very obvious, medical degree. We did an okay job with showing why should I believe you, right? In fact, five reasons to study at IMU is all about why you should believe us, right? And we made it pretty clear what you need to do, right? Of course, this isn't a website, so it, you know, they still had to do it manually. But where I failed, to be honest, as marketing director in this, and I wish I could do this better now, but I've left, maybe they'll hire me, um, is what's in it for me? If you look at the five reasons, they are very company-centric, right? Which is the other mistake that companies make. It's all about me, right? So it's all about, we're the biggest university. We, you know, build your future in a professional healthcare network. Okay, a bit fluffy, like whatever. Largest private medical school, curriculum benchmark to international students, uh, to international standards, better preparation for housemanship. Yeah, but none of it really spoke to the kind of the transformation that a poor medical student who's gonna invest five years in the bloody university and the parents spending half a million dollars Right, so both two audiences, none of it really spoke to that transformational potential, right? And that's what I think was missing out of here. But I wanted to show you this as a real world example of that thinking. So, the question is, how do we achieve clarity, right? Is there a process to follow? Because it's not as easy, to some people it's common sense, but I've realized that more often than not it's not easy, especially when you're the guy behind the brand or you're the woman behind the brand. It's very hard, right? How do you distill all that? So this is where storytelling can really come in. Mm -hmm.